hey guys and welcome back to my channel the i kind of moved things around a little bit because exciting news we also we actually are going to be fostering starting tomorrow so that's interesting and it's also it's, i'm kind of nervous because i feel like it might be a lot for when this baby comes because i came from having basically no kids to like two kids but like yeah So of course last time, the last video I'm pretty sure was my last appointment. Got an appointment coming up pretty soon. But anyways, let's get into my um, seven to eight month symptoms basically. Cause I am in the eighth month mark. I am 36 weeks and like four days. Sorry, I just looked at my phone. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at the pregnancy app. That just say three weeks left. Three weeks and three days. Cause yeah, my due date is like February 7th or February 5th, but February 5th is like three weeks and three days. But like around that range, you guys know my beginning, my first one was like February like 18th type stuff. So it's here or there. You never know when you're pregnant. But yeah, so anyways, my symptoms are, so my camera actually decided it would be full. But anyways, so the symptoms that I've been experiencing is like, oh my boobs look nice. Anyways. <laughs> I know out of my last video I was very distracted because I was like bro I legit have cleavage it's so weird why do I look kind of fat let's tilt this down a little bit okay I, tilt, I still look fat like I've been looking fatter lately that's one of my symptoms me mentally thinking I look fat but I know I'm just pregnant but anyway <laughs> Anyways, the symptoms that I have, like when I be walking around sometimes, especially at work, I just be feeling like a pressure on my bladder area or like pressure down there, you know, just like, you know, and also it kind of hurts to pee. Like if I've been holding my bladder for a while and then I go pee, it's like it hurts. It don't hurt down there. It don't hurt like, you know, in my area. It hurts like in my like cervical area, like, you know what I'm saying? Like around that area. So that's a new thing. And I've been feeling him a lot right up here. I've been tired more. Actually, walking around. I just be like, when I get to the, the my destination, I be like, because I'll be like tired. And I didn't realize that until I've noticed myself doing it a lot lately. Like when I get to my destination, I just take a deep breath because I was tired, I guess. And I didn't realize that. So I'm more tired lately. It's the most tired I've been throughout my pregnancy at like throughout my whole pregnancy but yeah fatigue pressure down there and the throwing up has not stopped it hasn't I haven't thrown up last week so that's good but before that I did throw up which I was still around like the eight month mark which was annoying because why am I still throwing up why? why am I throwing up but it was my fault because that day I ate some of my um husband's um it was it's called beaver nuggets it's from Bucky I had that in the morning and it has corn in it and Corn is my intolerance, and so when I eat corn now that I'm pregnant, I actually throw up. Because usually I had the intolerance, but it didn't make me throw up. But you know, the pregnancy. So now I puke after I eat corn, so yeah. That's really fun for me. So still, I'll be nauseated sometimes. I chew gum every day because, y'all, those prenatal vitamin thingies, I mean the um, baby bump and the swan thing the stork, the stork little candy thingies i don't remember what's called you don't need to buy that just buy some mint gum and you'll be good good to go chew it all day no need to like you know suck on the little candies and then eat some more you know just chew gum that's it i wish i knew that in the beginning like that's all i needed the gum but yeah i'm not gonna lie i have not been taking my prenatal vitamins because it makes me feel worse so I've been eating like healthy foods. Like I eat oranges. I eat fruits every day. Literally eat fruits every day. <laughs> I eat, I don't eat vegetables every day. But I do eat a lot of, um, what's it called thing? Pistachios. And pistachios have so much beneficial benefits. So I'm good on that. Is there any more symptoms that I've been experiencing? Back pain? Yeah. We talked about that before. It's still there. Yeah. Especially when it's just like when I've been down and I'm standing, like I'm bending down, like not too far down. Like when I'm, for instance, if I'm at a kid's desk and I'm trying to help them with their work, I'm trying to help them with their work, that's when my back starts to hurt. And last night I was kind of scared though because I felt pressure in my tailbone, but I think it was just gas. So, 
but like I've never experienced that pressure in my tailbone because of gas so I was very concerned I was like no this baby wants to come sometimes I think this baby's gonna come early I should do a poll my husband said we should do a poll to see when this baby will come but yeah I think I'm gonna give birth before my due date I don't know I just feel like I am because the pressure you know pressure down there but we'll see oh yeah I'm not gonna have a baby shower at my house anymore I'm not doing a baby shower because I don't want to <laughs> it's just too much too much for me too much we're gonna have a lot going on I have a new kid coming to live with us it's a lot and I also notice I've been rubbing my stomach a lot more lately because <laughs> I can literally feel him sometimes just sticking me like I wish I could see like that's him he's right here Maybe he could move on the camera. My stomach stays shiny. <laughs> it looks big now. I guess you guys can see the belly bump. Belly bump date. This is how big I look. This is my belly from the side. Let me try sucking in. This is how it looks sucked in. <laughs> like dang bro, like it's like out there now. One of my, one of my cores said I don't look pregnant from the back. Of course I don't. Cause boom, dynamite, boom, 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 dynamite, but yeah, oh, well, she can move for y'all. My belly button is so ugly, look at it. Don't look at it too hard. But anyways guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you've gone this far, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to see more updates on baby. Cause I want to record like so much. <laughs> I want to record like my experience with being a first time mom when he actually comes. Y'all, we got one more video to go. A nine month update and that's that's really crazy to me like that's crazy like one more video one more video before baby comes just feel like time has just been going by fast like comment below if time has been going by super fast for you during your with your pregnancy but anyways thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe bye